What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. The channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. Make sure to leave a comment, I'll get back to you. I really appreciate all the love and support. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brian. Today's video is about the tape thing and how to mask a car. Okay, so once again, my name is Brian and welcome to the channel. Guys, this channel is all about you. It's for beginners and professional level. And I do have a lot to learn from you guys as well. So today we're gonna to be learning how to mask a car. Now what we have over here are two doors that we're gonna be masking. And I'm gonna show you some quick techniques on how to do this exactly. Now, let me tell you, masking a car sometimes can be overwhelming. Where do you put tape? Where don't you put tape? It's kind of an art. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going over the tape thing, new technology and paint. It's gonna be showing us how the tape thing is gonna help us out. Do we need the tape thing to paint a car or to tape a car? Absolutely not. But will it help you out? I really do think so. So we have different types of uh, tape here which we're gonna go over right now. So your first budget tape that you have here is your smart brand tape. And the cheaper the tape, the less it's gonna stick. It might come off a little bit here and there. So this is a smart brand tape. It will stu still do the job. Uh, it's kind of like that 3M painter's tape, but I find it has just a little less sticky to it. The next tape that we have is uh, 3M's budget tape, which is their yellow, which still works pretty good. You'll find that it's a little bit more rigid. It doesn't really bend as easy, but it will get the job done and it's still a very good option. Uh, 3M has a lot of uh, budget options for those that don't want to spend uh, as much money, but still want good quality results. The last tape that we have here is uh, my personal favorite. It is uh, 3M's Highland. And uh, what I like about 3M's Highland is it works great in high humidity. It's got a little lot of bend to it and uh, it's not gonna release easily. It's one of my favorite tapes. And then over here, what we have is 3M's new um, flex tape, and it's got actual ridges in it that, um, this is for fine line, like when you're contouring around a bumper or something like that, uh, when you really want to get a nice clean edge. It actually contours pretty, pretty well. And in coming videos, I'll show you how to do this on a bumper. So what is the tape thing exactly? Well. The tape thing is right here, Tape Caddy, and you can find this on collision, collisionedge.com, okay? That's collisionedge.com. And this is just gonna make your life 10 times easier. Now, uh, you put it right here, if you have a belt, it goes right over your belt. Me, it's going over my pants. Fits in real easy. So, it comes with many adapters, and the adapters, uh, the tape actually has to fit within. So it'll tell you right here, you know, if it's an inch and a half, a half inch, three quarters, whatever it is. So it's supposed to spin freely, okay? So like I said, we have all these different tapes. They spin freely, super easy. So it's easy as this. All you're gonna do is take your tape, you come right here, bam, you are good to go. So here, I can take my tape if I wanna turn it around the other way. That's not a problem. If you're left-handed, right-handed, if you have it on your left or your right. And then say I wanna switch it out, just come right here, pop it right there, I'm good to go. So we're gonna be utilizing a tape thing, tape caddy, excuse me, to help us out with this actual uh, taping of this vehicle. So the most important thing that you need to do before you tape is you need to use your wax and grease remover and a clean pad, and you need to clean where the tape is gonna be back masked. So, so for instance, on this particular door, we're gonna be putting tape along the back edge so that overspray doesn't get through. We'll be putting foam tape in this area right here. And then over on the back door, we're gonna be putting um, tape on the back side, back masking all throughout the uh, leading edge of the back door. So he's gonna back mask it. What that means is he's putting the reverse, putting it just reverse, and he's using two inch. You can use an inch and a quarter, whatever works for you. It doesn't matter. And he's just gonna go along the whole bottom, uh, excuse me, the whole back of this door edge and then he's gonna carry it all the way through here. Quick tip, you always wanna mask from the back to the front. So you always start with your back door, you open that up, do all your masking, and then you close your front door, and then you're good to go. So that might help you out. And then when you go to unmask, you start with the front door, 
and then do the reverse. What he's gonna do here is on the bottom, he's going to use uh, the same method and we're gonna attach our uh, plastic to that. So the whole door is back masked and it's ready pretty much for paper. So what we're gonna do real quick is gonna have you put the little caddy on and see if you like it. Use this, uh, take this. It should, yeah, you're skinnier than me. Fit right in there. All right, so then that goes, and you can reverse the tape if you want. It's perfectly good. This good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what he's gonna do now is he's got the tape caddy going, and he's gonna pull it just a little bit, pull it towards the back, and that's gonna help uh, keep that bridge away from there. So when the clear coat goes, it doesn't stick to both. Take it and pull it. Nice. So it's nice and tight. And now what he's gonna do is he's gonna tape the top and he's gonna back mask this area the same way. Perfect. And then he can fill in the gaps. It's a little tight here because of uh, the, uh, the way the door is, but you can still stick a little bit. Now we do like the uh, Highland because it's, it works great for the humidity, it sticks well, it's thin, it's easy to conform. And then right in here, he can just tape it. Um, he doesn't actually need to actually uh, do back mask here. And then what he'll do is he'll put like a little piece of tape here and there. So when the plastic comes over, it doesn't actually stick to it and pull it down. Just to keep it against the window kind of helps out. So now we're, what we're gonna do with this door edge is we're gonna be putting um, foam. We like to use foam because it, uh, it fits in there well and does exactly what we need to do. And that foam is just really simple. You don't stretch it because if you stretch it, it's gonna come loose. So all you do is just fit it right into that groove. They make different millimeters, different sizes. And that's just gonna leave a, leave a nice soft edge along that, um, that inside of that door so that when you go to pull it off, you can give it a little buff, but actually there's a rubber that sits there anyway, so. Now on the inside of this door, he's gonna use, you can switch it out. You can use, I guess, take this, where would I have it, over here? Take this, see if it works good. Pop that there. And then you're gonna tape the inside because we don't want, we want a nice gap, a nice, uh, nice seal between the two. And he's just gonna run this right at the edge of it, right at the very, very edge, all the way down. You're better than I thought. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things to do. Isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of therapeutic. I love, therapeutic. love masking. I used to say, do I love hate masking more or do I hate buffing? And I think oh, I hate buffing. buffing. Yep. Yeah. Masking's not that bad. It's good. I mean, you could really, if you want, we can run one more. Yeah, like a thicker one? Yeah, you can run a thicker one. You don't need to use that. Um, and that's just going to help make sure there's no overspray that seeps through the gap here. All right, so he's running that tape on the, on the bottom side as well. And if we come over on this side, that's what it looks like. So this will all come together once we put the plastic on. It'll all make sense. So same thing here. He's gonna run it all across. He can get a big long piece if he wants. And then um, we'll, show, we'll get into how to mask these off and little random holes here and there. This is very basic. In future videos, we'll do a wheel well masking. Um, we'll do inside of the hood. We usually take everything off, so we're not gonna show you masking off bumpers and stuff like that because you just don't do that. So right here, all he's gonna do is, um, he can use an uh, inch and a quarter or the half inch, he's just gonna go straight down. He's gonna tuck it in just a little bit. Um, if there was any moldings in there, we would remove them. That could get overspray on this car. They're, um, they've already been removed, so we're good to go. So he'll just take, tuck it in. You can even use like a little bit of a Phillips head, pocket screwdriver, or your fingernail to, uh, to make sure it's good to go. And for here, what he's gonna do is just put a piece of tape inside. Nothing special here, just covering off from overspray going inside the door and uh, getting inside the car. Now, while he's doing that, we're gonna talk about um, right in here. Now, we're gonna put a little tape over these black moldings and a screw so it doesn't get any sort of um, overspray on it. But right in here, we're gonna use foam tape. And um, this is just another good way to utilize it. And I'm gonna show you the right way to fold it 
um, opposed to the way that I wouldn't suggest. Okay, so there's two ways that I would do this. Um, you could fold it, you're gonna fold it like this, okay? That's how you fold it, but when you go to put it in, you don't put it in like this because that's just more areas for dirt to hang out and come out. Just put it in like this. Okay, now that's a little bit not big enough, so we'll just crunch this in here. And we have thicker tape that will co hold the hole, uh, cover the hole a little bit better. So this one's too thin, so we actually got a thicker one. We'll use this for the front. So same thing. I like the blue foam a little bit more yeah, for here. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit cheaper. And then over here, same thing. So we have all of our area, the whole two doors, the whole perimeter of the two doors is completely good to go. Um, this is probably gonna be one of your easier things to mask off. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull over the plastic and then uh, we'll give some tips on how to cover the car with the plastic. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll pull this over the car. It's not supposed to happen like that. <laughs> This is a smart brand, it's not 3M. <laughs> All right, so when you bring it over, just gently, you wanna to create too much static. I don't go flapping it because that just puts a whole bunch of static on the actual vehicle and then you'll really get stung, shocked. So the first thing you want to do is just bring it all on the side that you're painting. Bring it all the way down to the bottom. Nice and neat. Okay. So once you have it down, then what you're going to do on this side is you're gonna start sticking it to all of that back mast area like this. So you're just gonna come here and stick it to all your areas just by pushing it. Now remember our areas over here, our back mast, so we'll pull it here and just give it a, when I come from this angle over, okay? And then over here, come down and just hit that tape on the bottom all right, so now we have a nice tight area. You see Diaz over here pulling it tight, gonna give it like a little bit of a, uh, a knot. All right, so what we'll do here is we're gonna start cutting it out. And as we cut it out, we always wanna use like a fresh razor because you're just gonna tear it up. And he's just gonna cut along the dotted line pretty much. And as he cuts along that line, we're just gonna tape. So, we're just gonna pull it off where he uh, taped. Yeah, we're going back to 3M uh, plastic. Yeah, right. This is like saran wrap. And then, just come across the whole entire area. It's better to have long, consistent um, tape selections, if you want to call it. You know, no tears, no breaks, because that's going to keep it very tight and keep the overspray away. So on this side, as I tape here, Diaz is going and cutting for me. All nice and yellow.
So then across the bottom, what he'll do is he'll cut the whole thing and we'll just tape the bottom. Uh, I'll hold it up for you so that way you, yeah, you can cut in the middle. You always want to cut right in the middle of the tape. And what that will do is give you room to uh, still put the tape over. Because you don't want the plastic and the tape at the same spot finishing. I'll take that so we can keep it. Nice. And then what we'll do here is um, he'll fold it over and just to keep overspray away and keep dirt down to a minimum, we'll run a couple pieces of uh, two inch tape as our last precaution what we'll do to keep dust down is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put some masking paper since I since we do have a cross draft booth um, you know the uh, overspray can get everywhere and if you have a spot that's not incredibly tight you can just poke a little hole in it and then um, just take some tape and hold it back not every job is gonna be super, super, super pretty. Okay, so we just got it masked up, and yes, there are areas that we should be going into the next panel, but we do have a good color match, and this is what is going to be done on this job, and that's gonna be that. And let's end this video. Hey guys, this is Brian from Paint Society. Just reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. <laughs>